Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we are gonna be taking a look at this toy finally from Maximum Venom. Um, this actually is, we saw this at, uh, I think it was New York Toy Fair back in like February or something like that. I remember seeing Ben Pronsky go on to Marvel's like Instagram channel and they were playing with all the Maximum Venom toys and they were saying this one was coming out and there's also a Spider-Man that came out too. And I did see it recently, I just didn't have the money to buy it. It's like a $30 Spider-Man, but I do plan on, get, on getting it because it's a Spider-Man that's, you know, a, a similar size to this one, like it's in scale with this Venom toy, uh, but it also comes with the white uh, symbiote, the synthetic symbiote. It comes with parts of that you can put on them, or you can put on Venom parts to make Spider-Man look like he got Venomized, uh, which is pretty cool. So it's like kind of black costume, but it has the Venom face, and you can put that on Spider-Man. So I'll definitely get that at some point. But today I wanted to, uh, you know, since I did get this one, um, I wanted to cover this and talk about this. And then in the next episode, we're going to get back to Scream. So this is the first episode I'm recording post going to the hospital last weekend. Uh, so I recorded like, luckily, like seven or eight videos, maybe nine, because I did some Ghost Rider ones that I still haven't posted yet. But I did a bunch of videos last week on my two days off, and I'm so glad I did that. So uh, that's what was been going up all week. And now it's what Friday now uh, and I got uh, I got to come home early from work today and I was like all right I got a little bit of energy let's make some YouTube videos so uh, so I'm glad so yes this is uh, this is why you haven't seen me talk about anything like kind of topical or do this yet because I just didn't have time to record it last Sunday I made one video I think about why I left social media and then I went into work that day and got sick and ended up going to the hospital. Um, and then I've been on bed rest pretty much uh, from Sunday night all the way to about Wednesday is when I finally started getting up and like moving around a little bit and then felt better by Thursday. And then today I'm feeling a lot better. So uh, thank you guys for always being so patient with me when I have, you know, any kind of um, ailments or anything. Luckily it was something simple this time. It wasn't aneurysm related or anything. It was just like kind of dehydration. I was at work and, I, you know, working out in the sun and stuff. And I just, I guess I just didn't hydrate as much as I, I thought I did. Um, and, uh, you know, I drink at least eight or nine bottles of water a day now, which is way more water than I've ever drank in like the past like 10 years of my life, or maybe like the last six or seven years, maybe. Um, Cause I was doing pretty good for those first couple of years. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's been, it's been you know, I like soda and the, the caffeine helps my head. I like drinking tea. Uh, like I make, you know, really good tea and that the caffeine from that helps my head. Um, so I haven't really drank too much water. So it's, it's nice that I'm drinking it, but apparently eight or nine bottles on really long days just isn't enough for me. And, uh, and plus it was an unusual heat last week and I guess I just couldn't hang, man. So, uh, so that's a bummer. You know, I, I hate not being able to work because I, I love now that I have a job and that I can actually, you know, cause it's, it's money's tight right now and you know and, and a lot of people are hurting right now in this country and can't work and so it's it's a real privilege to have a job and to work somewhere and i hate missing it because especially for a dumb reason like that that's like i have so many other ailments that could take me down seems stupid to get taken down by dehydration so i'll be better with that i'm drinking a lot more water now and uh, and hopefully you know uh, we won't have another bad day like that so anyway we have the venom figure here uh let me cut out i got my trusty scissors oops there we go let me just cut the feet part out so we can get this figure out in all his glory wow that's pretty awesome man he's a big dude oh man he doesn't have uh, ball joints or anything on the arms that's a kind of a bummer that's okay i mean i you know obviously this is for kids right this is definitely for kids um so what you have here is you can move the tongue there's a a, a knob here on his lower back uh, right there so you can move the tongue around that's actually pretty neat i didn't know it had that feature so that's pretty cool <laughs> to have a venom with a moving tongue um the hands do move that's cool the arms like i said they move up and down and they can turn uh and the legs move up and down no knee joints nothing like that um but that's okay i mean these toys aren't built for that they're built for kids to play with obviously um so this is something that my my nephew would probably really love especially the slime stuff so um, so I got everything out of the box um, and the packaging, as you saw, got some cool artwork from the show. Uh, I think that's Patrick Brown's artwork too, that's used for that, which is really great. And this is kind of the concept of what we're going to get into, where the ooze can, you know, come out of his mouth and then you can pour it on his hands, I guess. Um, and we'll, I'll show you how that works because there is a feature on his back. Uh, but first, let me open up the slime, um, which comes in this little container here. That would make Prince really proud because it's purple. 
<laughs> and so uh, R.I.P. Prince. Um, Prince is one of my favorite mu musical artists, um, especially when I was a kid, uh, you know, did the Batman soundtrack and Purple Rain. Uh, my mom actually just told me a really funny story the other day about uh, seeing Purple Rain in the movie theaters uh, with her when I lived in Greece, in Athens, Greece, um, back in the 80s. So, um, yeah, so we got <laughs> the slime here. And of course it stinks. Uh, slime always had a weird smell as far as I can remember. It always had a weird smell, but this is... Um, this isn't too bad, actually, for as far as slime goes. Maybe they put different chemicals in it nowadays. I thought I remember slime when I was a kid being, like, really smelly. Like, it would get all over your hands and stuff and, and smell like that. But uh, this isn't too bad, actually. Um, so then we have, um, here we go. We got some venom parts, symbiote parts, to put on venom here. So he's got little holes all over his skin. So you can put these different uh, venom pieces on him to make it look like the symbiote is, you know, very active. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's put a couple of these on there. See how that turns out. So yeah, you can do something like that. Add something there. And more. Put something there like that. And have, so yeah, so you get all these extra pieces and they can go on his legs. Looks like we got some spot on, some spots on his legs, so we'll put something there, right here on the side. Oh, some weird. <laughs> so yeah, he's got all these different things coming out of him now. Um, and then we even have these small ones, which are really cool looking. We could do that. Have a little small thing on his waist there, as you can see. And then he's also has some down here in his shin. You can do stuff like that and you can have it loop around to the back, which is cool just by putting it in. And you know what? We're going to do that on this side too. Oh wait, no, we can't. There's no, uh, oh, the holes are in different spots. So they're not in the same areas on the figure. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's cool. So that way you don't have like a, an exact repeat of anything. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, all right, so we'll put, uh, maybe we'll put this one up here and have it come over his shoulder like that. Yeah, so it looks like an, oh, you can twist it to go make it go higher. There you go. So you can do that. And then we have another one right here on his back. Put it there like that. So yeah, now he's all ready to go. He's all, He's got uh, symbiote parts coming out of them, which is, that's awesome looking. So here's the deal. There's a hole in the back of his head. When you first get the toy out of the package, you'll notice this is in that hole. So it's a piece of his, uh, you know, neck basically, um, all of his neck muscles comes out and you put the slime in there. Um, so I guess you'll tear, tear a piece of the slime off you, because I don't think you can fit all of it in there. So just kind of, oh my God, that stuff really stretches. All right, cool. Here we go. I was like, wow, this thing is not going to tear. Um, all right, so you put that in the neck like so. And I still think I got too much actually. Um, so yeah. I know in the past I've done toy reviews where I've eaten the cardboard box. I'm not going to be doing that this time. So for those of you who think I might, I'm not going to. All right, so there you go. And then you just, bleh, there you go. And then you use the tongue, I guess, to whip out, get the slime out a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, so there you go. And then now we can fold this portion into the hole there and go again. It <laughs> made a bubble too, gross. Ah, yeah, so there you go. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, you could put some, in his hands drop the bottle there that's all right looks like he's got lungs pancreas uh you know so many snacks so little time <laughs> so yeah there you go and it's dripping out of his mouth so this figure i think runs like 20 or 30 bucks i think it's 30 bucks uh so does the spider-man um yeah oh bleh. echo come here come here and eat this <laughs> Echo's peeking from around the bedroom door like, what are you doing over there? Um, so yeah, so you got all this slime. We'll put this in his hand over there. Look at that. There you go. 
Venom and all his gooey glory. So if you have kids who like to play with slime or if you just want like a cool big Venom to go on your display, um, this is definitely going to go on the shelf. Actually, you can see it right behind me. You can see those other Venom figures right there uh, with the Venom poster behind them. Right there is uh, some Maximum Venom characters. I'm going to put this guy behind him. I'm going to take the slime off, obviously, but I'm going to put him behind him because over here on this side, I have a Venom movie poster and I have a giant Venom that talks from the Disney store right in front of that with Maximum Venom characters. So that's kind of me, uh, you know, being keeping it even on both sides. So let me know what you think of this. Like, are you a fan of uh, having a gooey, slimy Venom? Uh, yeah, this is definitely a, a kid's toy for sure. Like I said, not a lot of articulation. But once I take all this stuff off the slime, put it back in its bottle, um, you know, I'll have this on the shelf. And it'll look really cool back there with the other 10-inch figures. And hopefully I can get Spider-Man at some point and, uh, and, you know, add that to the collection. Because that Spider-Man with the synthetic symbiote add-ons or the Venom uh, symbiote add-ons, it's actually a really cool looking toy. Um, when I saw it in person I, uh, for a second time, and I was like, oh, I really wish I had the money, but it's, uh, but it's all right. I'll get it at some point down the road, and we'll you know, make a video on it at that time. So let me know your thoughts on this down below. I'm glad I got to finally do this uh, toy, this look at this toy here. Um, I think it's really cool, and uh, you know, go pick it up if you want one for your Venom collection. You get that slime in there, get that tongue slip. <laughs> it's so gross. It's so gross. But now you can wrap the slime around the tongue, and then, you know, get more, get more of that in there. So that way he's, because that's, I always love that image in the comics where there's like green slime coming off. That's kind of, maybe that's what it is. I love purple. Don't get me wrong. I love purple. But maybe green slime would have been the only thing to escalate this thing to cooler status. Because I think it's neat. Like this is a neat uh, toy for sure. But um, I think if it was green, that would be more reminiscent of the comic books. But maybe this is more reminiscent of the show, although I don't remember too much ooze coming out of his mouth in the show. But still, ooze seems to be a thing they're doing, like a theme they're doing with this Maximum Venom line. And uh, either way, it's cool. And there's other color slime out there, so I can always go find one of those you know, little uh, jars that come with the, like, the little pot, like that thing way up there, that little red venom there uh, came with some slime. So maybe I can find one like that that has green slime in it and we can uh, you know, add the green to them. So yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Let me know if you plan on buying one of those because I think it's neat. I think it's really cool and it's gonna look great on my shelf back there with the other 10 inch figures. And so yes, thank you so much. I will have more stuff in the next episode. We're gonna talk about Scream issues three and four and some Captain Marvel issues from 2001 actually that tie into Scream 3 and 4, which uh, I'm so glad they put that little thing in the book to let you know that uh, the, the mother of Beowulf is actually a pre-existing character in the Marvel Universe. I didn't know that. So we're going to talk about that in the next episode. And I also have an uh, addendum to make because I mentioned Allie, our friend from Let's Talk Scream. She was the one who um, I saw doing Scream Week, but I'm not on Twitter anymore. So I didn't realize that she's doing Scream Week with another um, like a account called Scream of Carnage. And so I didn't know it was a joint account by them. So make sure you follow both of them. Um, I have links to both of their stuff in the previous Scream episode, and I'll have them in the next Scream episode as well. So make sure you follow them, make sure you stay subscribed so you can get all that information from me. And, uh, and yes, thanks to uh, Scream of Carnage and Allie for letting me know that it was a joint effort. And I appreciate your effort out there trying to get Scream to get, you know, come back in some form. I hope it does because after I read three and four, I have a lot to say about it and I can't wait to talk about it in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.